let's kick things off here with some Sunday night football news. Every week we have one of those stories that I say to you guys, I'm kind of surprised this didn't get more attention. And that's the one that we're talking about right now with points bet stepping back MGM stepping in as the odds presenter and sponsor for Sunday night football. And we can boil it down to something very simple. Who leaves the NFL? Uh, this doesn't mm-hmm. make a lot of sense to me in terms of what's going on. Points bet has said officially that it's scaling back on its national presence and that it's going to advertise more regionally. Uh, Bet MGM obviously already in a place to step in with the NFL and gets now uh, one of the most popular programs every single week uh, in all of not just sports, but in all of live programming, period. So, you know, this brings up a number of questions. And of course, we've talked about points bet ad nauseum, I'm sure, for some in terms of will people uh you know see this as an acquisition target will they see it as a company that what is the future there well this is not something that to me speaks very highly of the long-term potential for points bet because to go back to the point i made earlier who leaves the nfl especially when you're trying to make a name for yourself in the u.s sports betting market Yeah, I mean, Dustin, if we take a look at this, it's one of those deals where, I mean, you know, we talk about Island Games just from a content perspective. We know that everybody is is far more in tune with the Island Games, Island Games being Thursday night football, Sunday night football, Monday night football games where there's no competition. They're the only game in town. They're on national television, so everybody has access to them. And it is one of the places where if you are a points bet, you are guaranteed eyeballs because that is it is one of the most viewed games. And it doesn't matter what the matchup is. It is one of the most viewed games of the week every single week. Yeah, I mean, I guess this points to uh, it's not effective or points bet just doesn't see the cost. Like, you know, we've, we've talked about points bet, you know, about like three, between three and four percent, I believe, of, of market share nationally. So is this is this not moving the needle for them? I guess that's a possibility. Like, But yeah, this is this is something that you should think from a branding perspective. I mean, people were uh, going gaga to, to the reverse of that. That's why people were going gaga when DraftKings is on Amazon, right? Like that was like I saw five bazillion stories about mm. that and people talking about it and getting buzzed so there's a little bit of a disconnect between uh, that and this and uh yeah is it is you know bet mgm as it's pushing into more relevancy and, and trying to you know not just be a top five operator and push back into uh, push into DraftKings and fanduel for that for that number one two position it's something it's weighed on the scale there for sure and Adam, as we take a look here, just from a BetMGM perspective, right? I mean, we know they are one of the ones that still tons of advertising. We still see the Jamie Foxx commercials and whatnot. And so we know that there are, you know, different initiatives here with them where it's they're going the celebrity route. They're not really going the over the top, trying to be funny type stuff. They're just doing the more like, hey, here's a celebrity go bet type deal. But you now come in with this Sunday night football partnership and you you just start to wonder, okay, what does this mean for MGM? We had we had heard maybe all these books were going to start pulling back on spending. We thought that maybe this was like, oh, okay, we'll go into more retention than acquisition mode, whatever it might be. But it does make you wonder if maybe there was even a shift in philosophy, right? It does to some degree, but I think it also speaks to what the Sunday night football opportunity is, Matt. It's mm-hmm. what you mentioned already. Island NFL equals dollars one way or the other for someone and if you're mgm and you have that opportunity you have to step into that space no matter what you've decided your overall spending plan is keep in mind for points bet this is part of a larger deal they had with nbc right points bet and nbc have a big tie-up uh you would think sunday night football is about the most attractive piece of that tie-up for points bet but now bet mgm comes in and takes that place in terms of operators pulling back bet bet mgm has kind of played the middle a little bit caesars has been the one that's been very loud about how they accomplished what they wanted to in new york how they've pulled back on national ad spend you know whereas FanDuel has basically said yum yum give me some if you're going to back off we're going to take those customers from you and we will continue to push and they'll continue to push in a different way right talking about payout and ease of getting that payout and kind of talking to a more mature sophisticated customer so in the end i think for bet mgm it just presented too good an opportunity not to jump in 